Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to have you guys here. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button. You'll notify you guys every time I post a new video. All right, you guys, so the topic of the day is my allergies and being allergic to acrylic. Um, so basically you guys are going to think I'm crazy for still working with acrylic just because if you guys are allergic with acrylic, you guys know that is such a pain in the butt. So it is something that you learn in nail school. If you guys aren't licensed nail tech, I highly recommend if you guys are doing nails and you guys, this is your career you guys want to go in, I highly recommend getting your license and stuff is something that is super important to have just because of sanitation reasons that is a huge one and then learning about all these different things that you learn in school just because um yeah i mean you guys could teach yourself but definitely um be mindful of everything that you're doing so if you guys aren't licensed i definitely recommend going to go get licensed your license is more important than you think they don't just show you how to do nails they show you the cleanliness they show you um diseases they show you bacterial infections of what you could like pass on to clients if you guys aren't be clean being clean so definitely definitely make sure to become licensed just because it was something that will really really help you guys in the long run all right you guys so with that being said the reason why i'm talking about the license is because learning hema it's h-e-m-a basically it they teach you even about like you being allergic to the product and stuff and it's something that they warn you while you're in school but with that being said sometimes you don't ever think like oh that could never be me that'll never be me like i'll never get this i'll never get that i've never had a problem in the past blah 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 but i'm firsthand i am someone who has actually dealt with that like i would go to work and when i was doing hair color because now i'm allergic to hair color and i'm allergic to nails <laughs> so um i'm laughing about it now but i wasn't then i was actually crying and really like I'll get into the story with you but um so yeah basically you need to make sure that you guys are taking care of yourself even if you're not allergic to any hair color or anything like that wear gloves wear gloves wear gloves wear gloves and if you need to wear a mask even after quarantine is over i highly recommend wearing a mask because whether you're working with nails or hair the the chemical is so strong and you guys you guys need to protect yourself and i know being a hairstylist or a nail tech, you guys kind of develop, like, you're kind of just used to, like, the way the product smells. You're like, it's not that strong. Girl, it's strong. <laughs> so be careful with yourself. Like, take care of yourself and treat yourself good. So with that being said, I do want to tell you guys my story about how I became allergic. All right, you guys. So basically how I became allergic to nail products, it was just one day I had started um and it kind of all started kind of rapidly i don't know if it was just because i was pregnant but there's people where it just starts randomly regardless if they're pregnant or not but i have been coming across so many nail techs getting allergic to the product and i kind of just feel like i want to tell you guys just because if you guys watch my videos and you guys see like my videos and stuff and you're like oh i want to become a nail tech blah 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 you know um yeah just be careful because you could become allergic to it if you're not taking care of yourself so you could spend all this money get into it and love what you're doing and then the next day be allergic so um yeah okay so basically what had happened with me was that i would start getting rash around my cuticles and it itched really bad and then next thing you know once the rash would go away my skin would peel wherever that rash was it would just peel off um my skin it would end up being like really dry and it would when this when the skin would peel off because even like underneath my nails like it would get dry and then i would peel the skin off because it would look weird and after that like it would itch more it would burn more like i don't know like it was just really bad and so i kept going to the doctors and i was like hey look like this is what's happening to me i don't know what this is you know and i know eczema has been in my family but i kind of didn't think that it was eczema and then but then sure enough i would go they would diagnose me as having eczema they're like use the steroid cream the steroid cream will really help and anytime i would go it would never help 
and so then I turn I'm like well it's just eczema so I would always try to look up like home remedies and stuff to try and see if like that kind of thing would help me and so far none of it helped besides taking cool baths cool baths are your best friend <laughs> so if you guys are dealing with allergies definitely hop in the bath soak your body and if you guys have to stay in there forever like how I did <laughs> then do so because that's the life I was living and it relieved it so much I would just keep my hands in the water and just lay there <laughs> but um yeah so I was allergic to it and then even with hair I started to like if I would get like hair color on it because before if you guys don't know me outside of my YouTube channel I basically did hair and nails and I worked in the salon for hair for a while like my whole career of being a cosmetologist I was doing hair and nails so um with that being said I was doing both and then after I became allergic to even the product at work and I would come home with like big old like blotches red blotches and it'd be so itchy like I would just be itching 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 like and then if I would not wear gloves while I was doing bleach or doing toner or anything like that oh my gosh my hands would itch so bad and no matter how much I would wash them to get that product off like it was just like my skin absorbed it or something and then it would just my skin would be irritated and I remember coming home and I would be like biting my fingers like because it would be so itchy or like right here would be itchy and going like that it didn't do it so I'd be like literally like biting my fingers especially this one like I still kind of have like lines in it like you guys could kind of see like this one it has lines going up and down and all those lines before they actually used to be cuts like my skin would like end up cutting open i don't know if it was because how much i itched it or it was just trying to like extract that product like just naturally trying to get rid of it or something i don't know but my body really really didn't like it and even some gloves my body hated some of the gloves and so I did find out that I did have a little bit of eczema too. So dealing with eczema, I had eczema and certain gloves would actually give me rash from that. And so I was dealing with that. I was dealing with my allergies and I was dealing with um, my cholestasis because at the time I was pregnant. So once I had gone pregnant, that's when all my allergies kind of came out and they were just being crazy. I was always allergic to nickel, like so any cheap metal that I would wear. Um, my body hated it. Um, but then after... Sure enough, started to get like more and more allergic and I was just like, oh, gosh, what the heck, you know, like. And so then as my pregnancy, it kind of went on and on. I did end up actually getting more allergic to the product where the point like my hands were just so messed up and it hurt you guys. Like if anybody is dealing with this, you guys know. Oh, my gosh. If you know anybody close to you that's dealing with it it hurts so bad like it hurts to bend your arms it hurts to work like and it's like you're just working and you just want to like I would rub my hands like this all day like after like anytime I would get I would like be itching just because it hurts so bad and then just trying to find gloves that worked for me and products that worked for me because one of the times I was while I was pregnant with my son I was like gosh like I couldn't take it no more after I was done doing hair I was like I told my boyfriend I was like I had to go because at the time he was my boyfriend not my fiance and I told him I was like we have to go to or I had to go to the urgent care right after work I can't take it no more and then so I went to urgent care and then after when I had went to urgent care they had told me again you have eczema like that's this is eczema it's not anything else and because at the time I didn't know it was an allergy and I was like no like it yeah, like you know like trying to explain to them they diagnosed me with it before and it's not still nothing he's like okay well we're gonna give you a different kind of cream and so they gave me a different kind of cream and when they gave me the different kind of cream I went home I put it on and then my allergies they flared up again it hurt so bad and then my sister my sister she has eczema and she has creams that work for her so she actually gave me a cream and she's like here try this because she knew she felt so bad for me and she was just like here try this so it works so good that i use it for myself i use it for my son blah 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 and i'm like okay cool you know so i go home i try it and i was like you know what i'm gonna only put it on one finger to see sure enough that finger was so fat and swollen oh my gosh you guys it hurt 
and I was just like, good thing that I didn't put on my whole skin because look what it did. And like, because everybody would tell me, try this, do that, try this, try that, try this, try that. You know, everybody was throwing products at me. Like, especially with clients that they also dealt with eczema. And I'm sure enough, nothing worked. <laughs> so, um, yeah, with that being said, yeah, so nothing worked. And then one day I went again and I tried the product again and then next thing you know my hands were so swollen to the fact that I couldn't even bend them like even just bending like that it hurt so bad and I remember I needed to take a shower and I used to dread my showers because just using any soaps or anything on my body I would flare up and um my hands my chest everything and so I would be in the inside of the shower crying and I remember I was crying that day and I was it was just so rough because I was depressed while I was pregnant I was dealing with like being sick I had morning sickness all day long and then I'm dealing with these allergies and then I had this thing called cholestasis while I was pregnant which that makes you itchy as well and then I also had eczema too so it was just all messed up you guys and then after um so yeah then after I was just like like crying and then my boyfriend he had came in and he was like hey babe like what's going on and i was just like i can't wash my hair like my hands they hurt so bad because i try to put the shampoo on my hands and once i did that my hands burned so bad and i couldn't even finish washing my hair and then even just bending it like that i couldn't even like like even just moving my fingers they hurt and then after so he's like it's okay it's okay like I'll wash your hair for you so he like he washed my hair for me and um i'm so thankful for him he's so sweet to me but uh yeah he washed my hair for me and i remember feeling like still gross because you know like i don't know i feel like guys they don't know how to like work with a lot of hair you know and i have a lot of hair so and he's just trying to shampoo through this big old mane after i still continued to be allergic to the product even after i had my son and then breastfeeding it kind of even got worse so i was going to the allergist i had i had actually made an appointment i think my son was three months old he's already like a year and a month now um but yeah he, i made an appointment and i showed my doctor because it was like at the beginning of quarantine so it was um last march and i showed him what was going on and i'm like look they keep saying it's eczema it is not eczema and finally i had a doctor that would actually listen to me and um yeah he's actually a really good doctor his name is dr duda so if you guys are in the inland empire area if you guys need a good doctor he's actually a really good doctor and he actually listened to me he's like all right he was like well maybe you should try to do this and i'm like no like i've tried that i've tried anything i could like anything that anybody has told me to try i've tried it because that's how miserable i was i just wanted to be better and um dr duda he actually sent me out for a test and it came back that i was allergic to i did a blood test first so um he did more like food allergen common allergies and all of that so i'm allergic to 10 different trees 10 different weeds and then three like food ingredients wheat corn and peanuts and soy and so with that being said like without eating a lot of those things i do feel like it did help but then the next time I had actually went because I told him, look, like, Dr. Duda, like, everything is still going on. Like, I'm still messed up, you know? And he was like, okay, like, I'm going to send you to an allergist. He was like, or, no, first he was like, well, maybe you should try to do Benadryls and stuff. And, like, take Benadryl. Have you tried taking Benadryl? And I'm like, yes, I tried that. And then after he was just like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to send you over here to go get, like, your allergy testing done. And sure enough, I did do that. And, um... When I did that, nothing, all those things that before I was allergic to, because this was probably like three months later, I ended up getting tested again, the, and I was no longer allergic to like the wheat, corn, soy, and whatever, and peanuts. <laughs> and then, so I was no longer allergic to that, and I was happy, but at the same time, I would still have reactions to it when I would eat it, but I think my test just wasn't like, it wasn't reading it, um, because the way, they didn't do a blood test, they did like the the needles in my back and if you guys are looking to get it done the needles aren't that bad um if i can find pictures i'll go ahead and insert them on the side right here but so basically i did end up getting like these little pokes in my back and it's some parts of your back are more tender than others but it's not anything horrible um but i feel like with me like it kind of just feels like kind of like 
pokes like I don't know it wasn't that bad honestly it wasn't but it's these little little tiny needles that they just like prick them and then they re you come back a few days later and then they read your test results or no so they prick your back and then after you end up they wait 15 minutes and then they come back in and they read it and if nothing's popping up they'll give you another 15 minutes I believe and then they'll read it again um some doctors are different so yeah but so I think they might do it a little bit different but this is the way my doctor did it and so then they pricked it nothing had came up not even the food allergies and so I came back and I told them I'm like look I'm still having allergies you know and so they're like okay we'll do more tests so I had to get it approved and whatnot and then so my insurance approved it and then after I went back and they actually did the these chemical ones where they put the things on your back the it's like these big old long strips like this big like that's how it looks and basically you could find it um you could find it in a lot of these different products basically it could be it could be called so many different things so this list right here i'm sure you guys could look it up or screenshot it if you guys could see that i'm hoping you guys can okay so that is basically like a lot of different things that you guys could find um it named after under different things because even some of it it's called like hsdb so I don't, I'm not a doctor, so I don't want you guys thinking like th this is what I'm telling you guys you are, are uh, allergic to it is what I am allergic to and I'm just kind of sharing my story with you guys. So if it could help you guys in any way, maybe try to steer clear of maybe some of these products and see if it actually helps you. Um, but these, I do want to show you guys because it does also talk about what are some products that may contain this allergen and acrylic nails adhesives caulking compounds dental materials dentures repair self-curing acrylates so with that being said i think that's like self-curing is like a like the actual acrylic mm, some temporary crownings or filling dirt releasing agents frat, frat, fabric finishes Floor polishes, sealants, latex paints, UV paints, which is like my UV LED stuff. Um, paper coating, pigment binders, shoe polishes, synthetic flavoring, synthetic fragrances, and thickeners. And then I am allergic to copper sulfate. And this is like the color allergies, which I doubt if you guys are in nail tech, you guys are allergic to this. But these are all the different names, you guys, that it could be named after. Look at that. Why can't they just be simple and name it one thing? <laughs> I don't understand that. Like, but instead I had to compare this paper to all, like, <laughs> and make sure it doesn't have any of these names in it. <laughs> but yeah, so basically what are what can contain the copper sulfate is batteries books which i guess i shouldn't read books i'm just kidding <laughs> but um fireworks fungicides glassware glue hair dye herb herbicides um material implant pottery and wires so that's something that I have to be careful of. And then nickel sulfate, basically it's in clothing stuff, like just like the little snaps and zippers and whatnot, um, and buckles. And then, I don't know, a lot of different other things. And it's actually in canned foods, or it says canned foods may be higher, but chocolate, fish, grains, um, nuts, potatoes, and it's in jewelry as well. And I'm like, what? nickel doing in there but yeah but it's so crazy because it's like you don't really notice like what you're putting in your body once you start to look at these ingredients you guys like ingredients it's actually really crazy but um i do want to share some things that have helped me while i'm going through what i'm going through so one thing if you guys are really really itchy i highly recommend what had helped me a ton is actually sitting in the bath sitting in the bath i know it sucks because it's like right after you get out it doesn't help at all you're just back to being itchy again but if it is bothering you that bad jump in a cool bath like don't do a hot bath because a hot bath will irritate it and you'll be itching more but just sit in the cool bath and just sit in there like if you got to put your tablet up and watch a movie or something by all means do so just because it will help you a lot and i know 
with me, I would be sitting in the bath for hours. Like, not kid you not, I would sit in the bath for three hours just sitting in there because, like, that's how bad it hurts. It hurts really, really bad. Something that I definitely recommend is wearing a mask even after quarantine is over. Make sure you guys are staying safe, wearing your mask, and staying away from those fumes, making sure you're keeping a window open and whatnot. Maybe with me, I am actually going to be getting an air purifier and um, a dust collector to collect all that dust and whatnot. But another thing, if you guys are doing nails after you guys are done doing nails if you guys work at a shop or you work from home just try to wash all that dust off of you whether hopping in the shower or like washing your arms in the sink at work anything will help um just to immediately get that dust off of you even if if you have to do it after each client um and then Cetaphil. Cetaphil is a really, really good lotion that I have been using. It feels really thick when you guys put it on. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It kind of looks like a body butter, but see, nothing is coming out of there. Um, but yeah, this stuff, it is kind of thick when you first apply it, but it absorbs all into your skin and it does help soothe it. Um, it's not gonna be like magic and be like BAM you're done because even cortisone, I try to use cortisone and cortisone actually made me flare up more. Now. Sometimes when my flare-ups aren't that bad, I could use cortisone and it'll help with the itch. But I do feel like staying hydrated with this, it actually helps a lot. But if you guys need a body wash, because with me I was super sensitive to the wash. I had gotten this for my son because he had like broken out a lot. Um, he has sensitive skin too. But I use this stuff. This stuff is really, really good. Especially if you guys can't find something that will like clean your skin or like, I don't know, like... Um, the smell of it, I don't know. It's I like the way it smells. I'm kind of used to the smell, but I remember when I first bought it, it was my favorite scent. But, I mean, if it helps you guys, I definitely recommend it. Okay, another thing. These aren't the H4 Silver Shield Gloves, um, but these ones are the Nitro Gloves. And I do want to... They do have a little bit of a grip. I get a size medium, um, and size medium, they actually fit me quite well. But if you guys do wear nail extensions, definitely size up, just because otherwise you're just going to be popping holes through your nail, or holes through your gloves. Um, but this is what they look like. They have a little bit of texture on them. And... I really, really like these, but right now, as you guys know, because of quarantine, a lot of things are hard to get, and getting gloves is one of them. But these ones are the Raven brand. So definitely, definitely check these out just because they will help you. I'll go ahead and link all this stuff down below. So if you guys need help um, with finding stuff that will help you, make sure to check these things out just because it will help you a lot. And I know it's really hard to like deal with your guys' allergies and stuff. I know I've been there and I'm sorry for anybody who's dealing with it because I know it's rough, but I mean, just try to take care of yourself as much as you can. And with me, I just try to stick it out and it's going to be trial and error. Some people, um, I've heard where they had to quit completely, but hopefully maybe these, these things that I'm showing you guys will help you. Um, another thing that I know this is hard because I know people have bills to pay and I know they have all these things that they need to worry about. But something that had helped me tremendously with my allergies is actually cutting down my days and by a lot. I mean, it helps being able to do it because I don't know, like my reason for doing it is my son, but it has also helped my allergies tremendously. And now I only work two days out of the week. Um... And I'm doing YouTube and I'm doing all of my other stuff. Um, so it does keep, I am busy as it is, but I mean, you know, like maybe there's different things that you guys could look into doing, like whether it be YouTube or other things, just because, uh, yeah, you guys never know like if this will happen to you. So definitely I recommend ha having different streams of income just because you never know what could happen in your life and if you're going to have to stop certain things. So definitely recommend, um, but that's a whole nother topic itself. But yes, um, basically cutting down my days, I do feel like it's helped me a lot because say if I do have an allergic reaction to the product, if anything got on my skin, because there's been times where I have gel on my gloves and I itch like the back of my neck right here and I broke out all right here. So 
So accidents, they do happen. So basically, only working the two days, it allows you to have the rest of the week to rest and making sure that you are all branding for the next day and you're not torturing yourself. And maybe just try cutting down some days, you know, because it's like with me, I feel like it's helped a lot. So just give yourself a break. Give yourself time to rest. All right, you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I know it was a different kind of video just because this isn't something that I would actually talk about just because I was kind of embarrassed of it and whatnot. So I hope if anything in this video, I hope it helps you and it inspires you to be safe and taking care of yourself and allow yourself time for rest, especially if you guys are trying to. So if you guys are thinking of stopping, maybe cut down some days so you guys are actually able to rest. Because I know a lot of people that they become allergic, they don't want to actually stop right away um, doing nails. And it's actually hard to stop just because it's like, I don't know, this is, your work is your baby, you know? So it's hard. Guys, I hope I didn't discourage any of you guys just because that's not what I am trying to do. I just really want you guys to make sure that you guys are taking care of yourself and being mindful of what you guys are doing to your body just because... Um, if you're being careless and not taking care of yourself, I mean, it could result in being allergic like how I am. And if you guys could steer clear of that, I mean, why not? Why make yourself be miserable if you don't have to, you know? So, all right, you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are allergic to acrylic or things that you guys do to help your guys' self. Or if you guys know of an air purifier, please, 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 I need one that is going to appear like clear out my room and make sure that it is a safe environment for myself so if you guys do know one please comment down below because i am looking for one all right you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and as usual i'll be back with more videos bye